combustion and flame. Introduction Observe the flame of the LPG and the candle. Can you see that the flame of the LPG is clean blue in color and does not leave any other gases? On the other hand, the candle burns with a yellow luminous flame leaving behind black soot or residue. In combustion, the substances that vaporize produce a flame. When a candle is lit, the molten wax rises through the wick and gets vaporized to produce a flame. A fuel like charcoal does not vaporize and so does not produce a flame. Structure of flame Observe the flame of the candle. We can notice that the flame of the candle has three regions. Innermost zone, middle zone and outer zone. The innermost zone has dark black vapors of wax. In this part, the vapors are not burnt and therefore it is the least hot region of the candle. In the middle zone, the wax vapors start burning. The color of the flame is yellow. Since oxygen available in this region is not sufficient for the wax vapors to burn completely, and therefore the temperature in this zone is not very hot. In the outer zone, the wax vapors burn completely in the presence of sufficient oxygen from air. The color of the flame is blue and the temperature in this region is very high. Innermost zone Let us do an activity to show that innermost zone of a flame consists of unburnt wax vapors. Take a candle and place it on a table. Now light it with the help of a matchstick. Bring a glass tube and introduce one end of the glass tube in the innermost zone of the flame. Now bring an ignited matchstick near the other end of the glass tube. What do you see? We see a flame at the end of the glass tube. The innermost zone of the flame near the heated wick consists of unburnt vapors. These wax vapors enter the glass tube and come out from the other end. And on introducing a lighted matchstick near the end of the glass tube, the wax vapors coming out of it catch fire producing a flame. So we can say that the innermost zone of a candle consists of unburnt wax vapors. Middle zone. Let us perform an activity to show that the luminous or middle zone of the flame consists of unburnt carbon particles. Take a lighted candle and place it on a table. Introduce a glass slide into the luminous zone of the flame with a pair of tongs. Hold the slide for about 10 seconds. Now remove the slide from the flame and observe. A circular blackish ring is formed on the glass slide. So we can say that the luminous flame consists of unburnt carbon particles. Outermost zone. Finally, let us do an activity to show 
that non-luminous zone is the hottest part of the flame. We have a lighted candle placed on the table. Now, hold a thin, long copper wire just inside the flame with a pair of tongs for about 30 seconds. Observe carefully. The part of the copper wire just outside the flame turns red hot. This is the non-luminous flame of the candle. It has a high temperature and is the hottest part of the flame. Summary A flame is a region where combustion of fuel takes place. In combustion, the substances that vaporize produce a flame. When a candle is lit, the molten wax rises through the wick and gets vaporized to produce a flame. The flame of the candle has three regions, innermost zone, middle zone and outer zone. The innermost zone of the flame has dark black vapors of wax. In this part, the vapors are not burnt and therefore it is the least hot region of the candle. In the middle zone of the flame, the wax vapors start burning. The color of the flame is yellow. In the outer zone of the flame, the wax vapors burn completely in the presence of sufficient oxygen from air. The color of the flame is blue and the temperature in this region is very high.